Along the rugged east central coast of Guam, rocky coves open to the brilliant blues of the Pacific Ocean. This natural area, shrouded by limestone cliffs, is known locally as Fadian. Nestled along this narrow strip between the stately ironwood trees and the green limestone forest is an intricate education and research facility called the Guam Aquaculture Development Training Center, also known as the Fidian Hatchery or GDACT. Jointly run by the University of Guam and Core Seed Aquaculture Guam Corporation, this is a busy place. Things at the hatchery are literally jumping from morning to night. This five acre site is where students study and conduct research on shrimp, tilapia, and polyculture possibilities. Facilities provide everything that is needed indoors and outdoors to achieve mariculture success. Graduate students around Oceania and Southeast Asia have benefited from research conducted here. They do everything hands-on, including keeping an inventory of live shrimp by tracing their genetic families. The hatchery has fresh and brackish water supplies. There are 14 concrete ponds on the site and numerous fiberglass tanks. The sun going down over the rugged cliff line signals the time to gather for the breeding shrimp. At dusk, the shrimp get amorous and one can watch the energetic mating chases take place. It is a nightly occurrence. While the secluded hatchery's existence may surprise many, it has actually been around for a while. Built in the late 1970s by private investors, it was conveyed to the government of Guam in the 80s and eventually transferred to the University of Guam in 2001. Dr. Hui Gong Zhang was the first aquaculture research faculty hired. I was very amazed by what the potential we have here on Guam in terms of shrimp aquaculture and uh, other species that we can uh, develop. But there's a lot of um, challenges as well. Her expertise in molecular biology, genetics, aquaculture, nutrition, and health management helped expand applied research in the region. The shrimp and fish are raised from tiny fry to full grown. For the shrimp, there are a dozen different growth stages. This is a lot of work that can easily be lost if the creatures get sick. So she began by developing health management practices to protect the aquaculture industry from disease outbreaks, an extremely necessary practice when you're raising tens of thousands of shrimp at a time. And Guam already has clean water. And if we are, or if we are with this uh, premium health status, which is SPF, status, it will carry us a long way. Her work has benefited both Guam and the Northern Mariana Islands. She has established high health status for the aquatic animals as well as sustainable aquaculture practices. And she has developed shrimp and tilapia families for faster growth and higher yields using genetic tools. Graduate students around the region learn and contribute to the research. Steve Young Ook is from the College of Micronesia in Yap. His job in the FSM sees him awarding grants for aquaculture across all of its states. He conducts his thesis research at the hatchery. Uh, actually, the hands-on uh, experience is very important in, in aquaculture, so uh, I think that would be the most important thing that I've learned, the hands-on uh, experience, uh, you know, feeding, uh, taking care of the boot stuff, you know, even siphoning the tanks. So these are all hands-on experience that I think very important. Over the years, exchange scholars from Asia have carried out research projects at the facility. Currently, Jeropan Chanarong has finished her master's thesis on molecular genetics. She says the excellent results of raising fish naturally has impressed her. In my country, when the video about the tilapia, mostly we use the hormone for chain date, the male. 
because they grow it very fast in Guam. When the, uh, we do about the genetic improvement, we don't use any hormone and they grow it so fast. She says she even feeds greens to the fish that are growing in her own garden. Running a place like this is not cheap and UOG recognized the need for a commercial element to sell the yields of the many research projects. Since 2007, the hatchery has established partnerships with Asian aquaculture stakeholders to serve the region with high health shrimp broodstock. In 2020, a public-private partnership was enacted between the university and the Core Seed Aquaculture Guam Corporation. Deng Ho Zhang is the managing director. So I see the value uh, UOG research scientists created here and the value of the existing facility. So we just want to go one step further by investing more to improve the facility to commercialize what they have been created in terms of shrimp and tilapia genetics. No antibiotics or other chemicals are used for health-related treatments. This translates into a very marketable and delicious fresh, not frozen product that is available to seafood consumers on Guam. And we have nearly two million tourists that come to Guam every year. They're eager to get try for real fresh seafood. And we have an increase in seafood consumption and uh, the perceiving uh, premium quality and the favorable uh, taste of the locals from the local community. Seen here gathering choice tilapia, the staff is well trained in aquaculture harvests. Dusitani chefs have crafted special tilapia dishes for its fine dining restaurants. Shrimp raised here are delivered to hotels. The Hyatt Regency Guam has created exceptional recipes using shrimp. It has proudly placed the Core Seed logo on its menu. Shrimp destined for the Guam Fishermen's Co-op are often used by island residents to make favorite local dishes like young shrimp keleguan. Southeast Asian market produces nearly 70 to 80 percent of shrimp productions globally. So that's a gigantic market within four hours reach from Guam. So if we can tap into that market, we have a tremendous growth potential for that.